hidden in the African savanna, is a tree as vast and old as time. Inside it lives the all-knowing Funzi, part robot, part sage, but nobody knows her true age. With help from her young friends at Team Sayari, they learn how to help the planet around me. Armed with cues and clues, they look to solve Funzi's missions with trailblazing adventures and planet-saving expeditions. I still do not understand this game. What is the point of throwing a ball through the basket? It's basketball, Funzi. That's how you score. Well, if you're interested in this peculiar game, Riley, you cannot give up just because you failed the first few times. You keep trying, right? I mean, yeah, I guess. Guys! Guys! It's time for the show! Absolute Mondo! And I have the perfect mission for you. Mission time! Mission time! How can we change the world by being ourselves? Here is a hint. Bees are just as important as elephants. What? You should ask our friends for help with a hint. Sure. You say? What do you like about yourself? My favorite thing about myself is that my name means love and praises. I'm not a good boy. My hair, it's very curly and it goes gold in the sun. My personality, I'm super smart. My talent, drawing, playing football, getting distracted easily. That I'm cool. I can dance like... <laughs> Those were amazing answers. I love you say. But it still doesn't help in our mission. How can we change the world by just being ourselves? And what do elephants and bees have in common? Would you like your mission clues now? Clue time! A lifesaver floater and a do not enter sign. A yummy emoji and a danger sign? I still do not know how any of these clues come together. I think it's time for a field report, uh, Funzi? Locating Field Reporter I have Kaliso Kojane at Balule Nature Reserve in South Africa. I'm patching you in now. How's it Team Sayari? I'm Kaliso and I'm here at Elephants Alive where we're at a bee farm in my dazzling bee suit. And we're going to go find an expert to talk to us about the relation between elephants and bees. Come on. Hi, I'm Khashiso with Team Sayari. It's nice to meet you. Hi Khashiso, nice to meet you. Welcome to Elephants Alive. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's go and find a very nice safe, safe, safe spot and then we're going to chat about bees and elephants. Perfect, thank you. Is it safe to take off my veil here? Yes, I think we're far enough from the hive. So Ronnie, what is it that you do here? Today it's my uh, bee inspection day and then what I was doing, I was checking each hive that the hive is healthy, looking at uh, dung beetles, um, wax moth, and then also to see how the queen and the, the whole hive is doing. So what is the mission of Elephants Alive? Yeah, our mission here at Elephants Alive is to educate communities to start uh, beekeeping and hang hives around their field crops. So whenever elephants come and trigger the fence, the bees get irritated and they start to attack them. Wouldn't this make the elephants like change their trails and have to go in a new direction? Normally after being stung or being chased from the field crop, definitely elephants will keep away from that field. So the bees kind of guide them? Yes. So what is something interesting about elephants? So yeah, elephants are a very um, intelligent uh, animal species. And for example, uh, during winter time like now, they, they intend to push down trees for, for feeding since the grass is dry. Elephants, they've got one favorite uh, tree species that they like the most, uh, marula tree. In a marula tree, they intend to feed on fruits, uh, branch, leaves, roots, and bark. So if you look at the tree itself, it, looks, it seems like elephants enjoy eating the whole of a tree. So that's why most of the time, during winter time, that's when you see lots of marula trees being down. How do you protect the trees from getting like pushed down by these elephants? Uh, most of our marula trees are hang with the beehive and then yeah with the hanging of the hive around the tree uh, the bees keep elephants away from pushing down the trees. But elephants are so large and bees are so small so how does how does that happen? Yeah elephants are, bee, are the most largest animal land uh, species 
but they've got three sensitive spots where when a bee can sting, it can be a, a, a cause of a problem. For example, around the eyeball, and then also on the, on the trunk because of the moisture, and also behind the ears. And there's a lot of veins behind the ears, and can you imagine if one bee can sting behind or one on that vein, there will be a, a major problem. Thank you so much for meeting with me. It's been such an honor to come and see all of the bees and how it works here. Thank you so much. Have a great day. The bees are small, but they scare the elephants. The beehives get disturbed, and so they sting the elephants. That's right, Shana. The bees deter the elephants from the farms. Wait, that means we solved the lifesaver floater clue. True. Which means the bees are protecting the marula trees from the elephants. Which means now we only need to solve three more clues. The do not enter sign, the danger sign, and the yummy emoji. Good job, Team S. The marula trees are very important to the community. The marula tree is also referred to as the elephant tree because elephants love eating its fruits. The bees and elephants are interconnected as we all are and everyone can help each other no matter how big or small. Fun fact! The African elephant is the world's largest land mammal. A male African elephant on average measures up to three meters high and weighs up to six tons. That's the weight of more than 70 full-grown human adults. Elephants are constantly eating and can consume up to 90 kilograms of food per day. That's almost 90 large pizzas a day. Remember guys, we still have three clues remaining. The danger sign, the no entry sign, and the yummy emoji. And guys, don't forget, the first clue is the lifesaver floater, which means the bees are saving the marula trees from the elephants. And now, it's time for some more amazing animals. Number one is the amazing African elephant. These beautiful creatures are African elephants. How do you know that? Uh, it's because you have much bigger ears than an Asian elephant. But that's a good thing because they help to let out the heat. African elephants can be found in Eastern, Southern and Western Africa. And what's this thing for? Can I hang it over here? That's your trunk, Toto. The trunk is basically a fifth limb and a sound amplifier. Hello? Is this thing on? Yes, thank you, and whoa, mine's going crazy. Switch it off, switch it off. ay yeah, yeah. Aish, Juma. Now look, you've dropped my favorite tree. Whatever. Why? Where do I switch it off? Where do I switch it off? The lovely African elephant. You are such an amazing animal. Wow, I honestly didn't know they could live up to 70 years. But hey, at least now we know that the yummy emoji represents no. how much the, the elephant eats. 20 kgs per day of just trees and plants. That's a lot. And we've also learned other really cool things about elephants, right? You're right, Finzi. I'm thinking some fun facts might help us figure out the rest of the clues. Searching for useful fun facts. Want to hear a joke in the meantime? Sure, <laughs> why not? What did Pinocchio say to the elephant? Uh, I don't even know if he talked to the elephant. I don't know. I knows what you did. <laughs> Get it? Nose as in long nose? <laughs> that one's a good one. Fun fact. An elephant's trunk is the longest nose in the world. The trunk can measure two meters when fully grown. That's approximately the length of a door. A baby elephant can stand after it has just been born. Unlike human babies who cannot stand or walk after they've been born, elephant calves can stand up to 20 minutes after birth. Wow, wow I honestly like didn't know all that, but like what I didn't know is they had the longest nose. Well, which I'm pretty sure it makes it longer than Pinocchio's. That's true. But at least it's good to be different and unique. Every creature is different in their own way. 
Because if we all looked, talked, and thought the same way, the world would be absolute mondo boring. Good work, Team S. We still need to solve two other clues, which is the do not enter sign and the danger sign. Yeah. How about we ask our field reporters to help us solve the clues? Excellent day. Locating field reporter. Located. Catching you in to Sabrina Kilumanga in Kilombero, Tanzania. Karibuni to Tanzania, Team Sayari. My name is Sabrina. There's so many motorbikes here. They're so frustrating. They're distracting. And I am here to help you solve today's mystery. Uh, Fonzi has given us a do not enter sign and I need an expert to help us figure out what that means. So let's go find one. This place is so beautiful. And look, there's a beehive. That must mean I'm going in the right direction. Hi, I'm Sabrina from Team Sayari. Are you Kim the bee expert? Yes, I am. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure, let's go somewhere where we can talk. So Kim, what work do you do here? Here at STEP, we're trying to do is to make sure that elephants and humans can coexist. Why are elephants endangered? They're endangered because of their habitat. So where they live is getting smaller and smaller. Their loss of habitat is causing them to be endangered. People are increasing, so it means people are building houses and building hospitals and infrastructure in areas where elephants are supposed to live. Human-elephant coexistence is us looking for methods to help farmers who experience crop loss caused by elephants. And one method is of course a beehive fence. You spoke about the beehive fence stopping the elephants. How does that stop them? Elephants are afraid of bees. You're joking. Those big things are scared of those tiny little bees. Elephants have a very good sense of smell. They can smell a beehive because of the, the honey that's in the bee. We've seen a situation, the elephant will come up to the hive and turn around, or he will look for a place where there's no beehive fence to cross to go into farmland. Let me show you the beehive fence. Each beehive is connected to a wire. So this means that when an elephant crosses, if one beehive shakes, the whole beehive will shake. And this causes all the bees to come out of the hive, which the elephant is afraid of. Come, let me show you one of the main elephant trails. Elephants used to use this trail often to go into farmlands. But after we built the beehive fence, they have reduced using this path. This beehive fence is something that they're really afraid of, which just goes to show that it doesn't matter how small you are, you can really make a difference. Imagine such a small tiny bee is capable of scaring a huge elephant. I think the do not enter sign is the bees keeping the elephants away from the farms. The danger sign is that elephants are in danger from the angry farmers, but the bees are protecting them. Isn't nature clever? Most clever. The bee remains true to itself while it works hard to protect the hive and make honey. It also protects elephants by keeping them safe and solves a big problem. Elephants are crucial to the ecosystem. They trample forests and dense grasslands, making room for smaller species to coexist. Elephants also create water holes used by other wildlife when rainfall is low. An elephant footprint can also enable a micro-ecosystem that, when filled with water, can provide a home for tadpoles and other organisms. Another great result from Team S. Mission complete! Mission complete! Would you like to make something cool that has elephants all over it? What could okay. it be? You just have to wait to find out. Welcome back, friends! It's time to open up Fundy's box. Fundy's box! Habari Team Sayari, and welcome to Funzi's Box, where we turn items from nothing into the most beautiful creations. 
We all love elephants, right? Well, these elephant feet can make you feel tall and mighty like an elephant. Here's what you'll need. String, a black marker pen, grey paint, pink paint, a pencil, two large empty tins, a hammer, a nail, two paint brushes and scissors. Take two tins and place them on your table. Mark a point on opposite sides of the closed end of the can with a pen. These points will help you point on the surface here for the string to be put through. Next we're going to take a hammer and a nail and we're going to put the nail on the point we did on the side. Don't use a hammer and nail alone. Always ask the help of a parent or older sibling. Now we have two holes on either side of the can. Get your grey paint and a paintbrush. Paint the whole elephant foot grey. Why? Because elephants are grey. Leave it to dry for around two hours. Now we're going to draw our elephant toes. Make three semicircles on the bottom of your tin like this. We're going to get our black marker and go over them. Is it beginning to look like an elephant's foot? Get the pink paint and paint inside the semicircles or toes. I'm using a smaller brush so it can be more precise. This is how it looks like when it's fully dry. Time to make the handles. Get your string and measure about one meter. This seems about right. Once we have our string, we're going to put it through the holes on the side of the tin. Once you've pulled it in from the inside, you're going to make a large knot in each string. And now you have the perfect elephant handle for one elephant foot. And here are two perfect elephant feet. And now you feel tall and mighty just like an elephant. Make sure you share this with your friends. So, and while you're at it, why don't you spread awareness on elephants? Bye! What did you think of the elephant feet? Will you use them for basketball? <gasps> Hold on, I got an idea. How about we make our own basketball team? Wait, like a Team Sayari team? Exactly, that way you can get double the practice for your team at school and you can be dribbling around everybody. Absolute Mondo! That's an amazing idea, Shanna. Our own team. Because sometimes, we just have to step up and get things done. Which reminds me, there is one more amazing person I'd like you to meet before we go. Who is Who's it? it? Let's go to Kimana Sanctuary, Amboseli, Kenya. Hello, Team Sayari. My name is Paula Kuhabu, and I'm here in the Amboseli ecosystem. This is home to the world's most famous elephants and I'm here to show you why. This huge acacia tree has been felled by the elephants. But what the elephants have done over the years is pried away the bark. But this is now the home of so many other animals. You can hear all the insects and all that wood is going to be recycled by the termites and turned into new soil for the growth of more forests. I can see that the elephants have just been around here because we can see the trail of destruction. And that's what elephants do. They engineer these habitats. They're still further ahead though. Let's go find them. This is an elephant's paradise. There's everything they need here, from the grass to the water and these amazing trees that provide food and shade. They're not here right now. I think they've actually walked further down. So let's go look for them. Team Sayari, we finally found them. They're right here. Yeah! When I was a young girl, I used to read books about animals and nature, and that's when I fell in love with elephants. And I thought, what a life to live with these giants and get so close to them. It seemed impossible. What a dream. And yet, that was exactly what I was able to do. Elephants have always migrated over wide spaces. But now, humans are beginning to make this difficult. 
some of our farms are right in the way of where elephants want to go. And as the elephants move, it's no surprise that they will stop and eat the crops that they find. This is all that's left of Tolstoy. And Tolstoy wasn't just any other elephant in this population. Tolstoy was a unique elephant. Tolstoy was also one of the elephants that led the other youngsters into those farms. They would steal tomatoes and other vegetables. He was speared by an angry farmer, and the spear broke through his skin, led to an infection that did kill him just a few weeks later. So long as we cannot solve the challenge of elephants going into farms and people encroaching on the land of elephants, this problem will persist, which is human-elephant conflict in this ecosystem. Team Sayari, we need to do something to save these elephants. Not of lunch, Anna. It's that I can make a big difference, even though I'm small. That's right, Riley. What do you think, Shanna? I think he's right, whether the impact is small or big too. Tall or short, big or small, we all can make a difference. Elephants are endangered, which is bad not only because we love elephants, but also because they are critical to the ecosystem. Small or big, we need to work together to save the planet. And now, it's time for... A World Without! Elephants and bees are mighty different. That's true. But they both love hanging out with a crew. When elephants go out looking for food, bees make sure that everything's all good. With beehive fences all up in the elephant's face, making sure elephants stay safe from the human race. See, a world without elephants would be downright scary because these majestic animals are far from ordinary. The world's largest land animal keeps us all alive. These ecosystem engineers make the whole world thrive. Stand up for this gentle giant. Be all out defiant. Make the elephants your fave, and so many you'll save. Whoa, guys, we need to keep the elephants safe. And so the yummy emoji was equal to how much the elephants eat, is they eat like a lot. And the danger sign was equal to the bee saving the elephants from hungry farmers. The lifesaver flutter equals to the bees protecting the trees from the elephants. And the do not enter sign equals to the bee hive fences. Absolute mondo. I'm so proud of you guys for cracking the clues so quickly. Great job, guys. You know what? I'm gonna be great at basketball. Yes! Go, yes. Riley! Did you see that? Did you see that? I did it! We sure did! 